Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. As most of you are aware, Reaper 7 was recently released and it packs a ton of new features. One of the most highly anticipated features is fixed item lanes and swipe comping. While the manual has been updated, a lot of people are still kind of curious as to how to make this work. I've been reading through the manual and I think I understand it, so I thought I'd take a moment to stop cleaning my room and show you what I've got so far. So let's skip all the normal intro fluff and just get right to it. Besides, I've got to beat Kenny Joya to the punch somehow. Hadouken! Let's take a look. I've got an empty project in front of me and I'm using the default Reaper 7 theme. If you've upgraded from a previous version, you're likely still showing whatever theme you had running in Reaper 6. If you'd like to see the new default theme, go to Options, Themes, and Default. You may notice if you take a look at the theme adjuster that there's a lot of features that are missing. As of the recording of this video, White Tie still hasn't finished the theme adjuster script in the way that he'd like to have it operate. If you know where the super secret area of the forum is, you can check out a pre-release of the theme adjuster script and I highly recommend you taking a look at that in order to make some changes that you might be used to seeing in the theme adjuster as well as to discover some new ones. Let's get back to the lesson. So I'll start by adding a new track just like I normally would in recording. I'll give the track a name. We'll just call this Bad Singing. And of course the normal process would be to select the input that I want to record. I can do that the same way as I did in Reaper 6 by right clicking the record arm button going to Input Mono, and I can select any of my 24 inputs. I'm going to be using my first input, which is the same one that I'm speaking on now. That's selected by default, so I don't have to select anything at this point. I'll arm my channel, and I can see that I've got activity on this. I've got Record Monitoring turned off by default in my instance, but if this is a clean installation of yours and you've done no customization, at this point you're likely hearing yourself back through your monitors. Click the link above if you'd like to learn more about changing your default options for new tracks. But I've got mine set the way that I'd like for now, so I'll leave it alone. For this demonstration, I'm just going to sing rather badly into this microphone and just record a couple of measures. So I'll make a time selection of two measures. And to make sure that I'm only recording these two measures for each pass, I've got my record mode set to time selection auto punch. Right now, Reaper is still set to use the traditional takes method. If you're not familiar with how takes and comps have worked historically in Reaper, click the link above. I've already got a video about that, so there's not a whole lot of point in showing you how that works in this video. In order to use the new fixed item lanes, I'll need to right-click the track, and you'll notice several new options in the dialog that pops up, but the one that I'd like to focus on is fixed item lanes. I'll click this option, and we can see that fixed item lanes has been enabled. Currently we only have a single lane, and that's normal because I don't have any takes yet. This will increment as I create more takes. I've got my pre-roll turned on, and my metronome enabled. My pre-roll is set for one measure so I can be sure to hear the count as I go into the area that I want to record. Let's record my first pass. La 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 la. As you can hear, I've named the track Bad Singing for a reason. I'll save that take and move on to the next one. Just like with the traditional takes system, recording a second pass will give me another fixed item lane. La 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 la. I'll save that take. And now I've got two lanes. Let's do a couple more. La 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 la. And one more. La 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 la. Excellent. I'll go ahead and disarm the track now. And even though I've got my record mode set to time selection auto punch, Reaper still continued to record both before and after that section. So I should be able to grab these takes and extend them if I'd like. I don't necessarily need this for this exercise, but just so you're aware, if you do have a time selection created and you've got pre-roll engaged, Reaper records both before and after the time selection. I'll undo that to go back to the way it was. I'll click away from this to deselect the items. And let's extend this track so we can see what's going on. I've got my four takes, and if I'd like to listen to just one lane, which is normally what I'd like to do, I can single click any of the headers to isolate that lane. Let's take a listen. La, 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 la. And take two. La, 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 la. Take three. La, 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 la. And take four. La, 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 la. For those of you who like keyboard shortcuts, and I'm one of those people, there are several actions that are available for your fixed item lanes, or take lanes, or media lanes. I still haven't gotten used to the verbiage yet, but you get the idea. Let's go to the actions list. 
And in your filter, if we search for track lanes, we can see tons of actions that are associated with these track lanes. Before, I was clicking the headers for each of the lanes in order to solo that lane. But if we take a look at our actions list, we can see that there are also actions for play only next lane. I'll run that. And we can see that our active lane has changed to number one. And play only previous lane, and running that action, takes us back to number four. You can add key presses to these actions if you prefer to use your keyboard. The historical shortcut keys for changing the active take is T for the next take and Shift T for the previous take. That does still work if you're using traditional takes, but they've added some more actions to those key presses in order to work with swipe comping. Let's start to make our first comp. I'll close out of my actions list, and then I'll right click in the fixed item header area. Again, I'm still struggling with this verbiage. So I'll right click, go to comping, and comp into new empty lane. This has created a new lane above my fixed item lanes, and this lane is named C1, or Comp1. If you'd like to change the name of that comp, you can double-click the header and give it whatever name you'd like. C1 is fine for now. In order to create my comp, at this point I can simply left-click and drag over any of the available lanes. I'm going to turn off my snapping, and let's make a few swipes to see what happens. So I can quickly swipe across any of the available lanes to create a comp in this comp lane. You'll notice that I've got some areas that are not covered. I can fix that by swiping on any of the item lanes again, or I can left click and drag the edge of an existing one. If any of my comps overlap, it will create a crossfade. As you can see, Reaper is not allowing me to have a section for more than one lane at any given section. If you need to audition or preview any of these, again, you can click on any of the available lanes to hear that lane isolated, but if you're used to the traditional takes method, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. If I move my cursor over my first part of the comp, I can press T just like I would with traditional takes, and you can see that Reaper is switching to the next take or next comp lane, or fixed item lane, or fixed media lane. I'll get this right eventually, but today is not the day. So I can press T to cycle through those forwards, or I can hold shift and press T to go backwards. When you're using the swipe comp method, this action only affects the area that's under the mouse cursor. So if I move to this next section, I can do the same thing again. And this essentially will allow me to preview the takes just as I would in the traditional sense. As long as the header for this lane is highlighted, I can hear whatever is comped in this area. Let's take a listen. La, 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 la. And if I zoom in a bit further, just like in traditional comping, I can move my crossfades by holding shift and left clicking and dragging. This helps me to better fine tune the cut points for my swipe comps. Once you're done creating your comp, you can collapse this down to a single lane. You can also change the size of your lanes by clicking the icon to the left of the header area. Now we can see that my lanes are small, and I can click it again to make them large. And if I'd like to isolate it to whichever lane is highlighted, I can either right click the icon and choose show play only one lane, or I can shift click the icon to do the same. At the moment, we still have this yellow highlight around this comp lane, and that means that I'm still in comping mode. If I want to disable comping mode, I can double-click the header. This lane is still highlighted, so it will play, but I'm no longer in comping mode, and I don't have to worry about any accidental clicks damaging my comp. Let's zoom out a bit and play back the selection. La, 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 la. And while that singing might sound pretty terrible, at the very least, we now have a basic understanding of how swipe comping works in Reaper. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I Like Coffee, Patreon, or Super Thanks links below. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. This is great. I haven't put up a good Reaper video in, what, like a month or something? It's great to come back and be the first one showing some of these new features. Maybe I can even get this one edited before Kenny releases his first video. One can only hope.